The transpose of a matrix is the entire matrix rotated by an angle of 180 degrees around the diagonal as the axis of rotation. The, tr the transpose of the transpose of a matrix is the transpose taken twice. So it's a rotation of 180 degrees done twice. So total rotation of 360 degrees around the diagonal as axis. You might have seen that the diagonal elements of a matrix never change even after taking the transpose. This is because the diagonal is like the axis of a wheel and that is why the diagonal elements stay where they are even after taking the transpose. This is very similar to the axle of a wheel remaining where it is even during the rotation of the wheel. Everything else moves up and down. The elements close to the axle or on the axle stay where they are. The determinant of a matrix is how many times the volume or the square of the matrix is compared to that of a unit cube or a unit square. If the determinant is 2, it means whatever you are dealing with, it is twice that of an area or volume of a unit cube or a unit square. As far as I have seen, 2 by 2 matrices denote a 2 dimensional matrix and 3 by 3 mat matrices denote a 3 dimensional matrix. When you are dealing with a 2 by 2 matrix, you are comparing the area of your matrix compared to that of a unit square. When you are dealing with a 3 by 3 matrix determinant, you are comparing the volume of your matrix or the object that the matrix represents to that of the volume of a unit cube. But is this always the case? In my experience, no. What if all the building blocks of math can be visualized in just one ebook? What if someone tells you that I in complex numbers denotes rotation by 90 degrees, I square rotation by 180 degrees, I cube rotation by 270 degree and I raised to 4 a full rotation of 360 degree. What if complex conjugates were nothing but vertically opposite mirror images of each other? Sin theta was a measure of how much perpendicular two forces or influences are. At 90 degree the influence is maximum, at 30 degree the influence reduces to half. What if the transpose of a matrix was nothing but the entire matrix rotated by 180 degree about the diagonal as the axis of rotation? What if cos theta was a measure of nothing but how parallel two forces were or influences were? And so at 0 degree the impact is maximum and at 90 degree minimum. Visualizing math 1, visualizing math 2. Explain many of these concepts, these building blocks of mathematical equations using simple and daily life examples. The links to these books is given in the description. There's also a book on quantum physics which explains the introduction to quantum physics intuitively. The link to the Patreon page is also mentioned. It will help this channel 